A new person is born when she finds a value to define an actional self and when he can assume autonomy for that self. Such is the task that faces us. 20K, 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 who is this? On a day that I thought the self would not be found, this vision of her surfaced and my life journeyed on a path never before considered. This energy of Tony K. Bambara wrapped around me. Oh, so tightly was that embrace. I could not rationally dismiss but was left to embrace that which would only surface which was me. What woman was she to have had such an impact in on all these people and to have you just talk about her, you know, and, and just talk about her writings and her work. Yes, we're all women, but we're all women with different, different diversities, different struggles. And that when we put it in a terms of solidarity, it, it makes it as if people can come to, to the plate. We're all women with different backgrounds, women with different faiths, women with different experiences. Di women who, who have different oppressions within that group of women. On uh, one cause, but it would, but they could still accept the, the journey which they came from. The Tony K. Bambara Conference is actually a real, a real pool for transformation and change within Spelman itself. We all deal deal with um, similarly. I didn't connect it and didn't realize how we we all have a, a similar struggle, and, and and out of that, I can love. I can love other black women because I know she's feeling what I feel, or either I have felt what she has felt, you know, and vice versa. Um, so I look at my, you know, I look at other black women in a different light now. Um, I'm not so, oh my goodness, why is she so like that? You know, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not so judgmental anymore about black women, but more now concerned about um, where black women are um, in their own personal lives, um, what's going what's going on with them um, in relation to their health, um, mentally, physically, emotionally. The total irony about activism as a part of academia is that um, you know, you end up using a lot of words. You use, end up using a lot of words, um, but you're talking about activity. And there's such a danger of, of talking about things without actually doing them, or, or without even feeling that you have the power to do things. Even though you have a lot of language to talk about what it means to have power to do things and what power is. College isn't just about education inside classroom. I'm a, strong, I'm a strong believer that actually a lot of our education comes outside the classroom. We're between the ages of 18 and 22, a, a very instrumental point in our lives where we are learning so much from each other, um, from our professors, from from the experiences that we're in. And Tony K. Bambara Scholar Activism Conference and the Collective is most definitely one of those instrumental experiences. Speak Out is because in uh, an interview that Tony K. Bambara gave that's printed in Deep Sightings and Rescue Missions, she talks about the importance of the Speaker's Corner in Harlem 
to her political development and to the development of her ideas. I want to talk to you a little bit today about Darfur. The conflict in Darfur Sudan has led to some of the worst human rights abuses imaginable. After deviations, contemplations, and meditations through deep sightings and rescue missions and on the issue of roles, Tony spoke loud and clear. Who am I and what will I do to contribute to the changing future? She says, and I lived in Harlem with black bookstores such as Michaud's Liberation Memorial Bookstore, the home of proper propaganda, and with the Speaker's Corner. I do not think a community is viable without a speaker's corner. If we can't hear black people speak, we become captive to the media and we disacknowledge black speak. When is our country not going to be the problem? When is our country not going to be exacerbating violence, exacerbating issues? When are we not going to be imperialistic? Being a part of the Tony Cade Collective actually allows me to uh, begin to take on a fight and that with our black sisters all over the world, whether we're on the African continent, in Latin America, North America, in Asia, in Europe, in the quote unquote Middle East, um, just to really fight you know, for my sisters all over the world. Tony was a global sister. She used to have an address book, and every single time that she would see like something that was amazing to her, she would constantly think, well, how, where am I going to get this? Um, how am I going to get this out to people? How, where, where should this go now? And so she was always thinking about politicizing and organizing for um, future seeds. I have evolved the most in, in activism. One. And I sort of evolved the most in spirituality. And there's another thing. I've, I, I've also involved in um, trying to be the best that I can be. Being in the 20K Collective helped me to understand that it's okay to be different. It's okay to not go with the norm. As a matter of fact, being different is normal. <laughs> Everyone being the same, that's that's something wrong with that. Everyone thinking it's the same, well, there's something wrong with that. One of the books that has really inspired me is called Deep Sightings and Rescue Missions by Tony K. It talks about how an activist is developed and it's such a beautiful, genuine piece. Like I definitely remember so clear that I feel like Tony K's spirit, which to me still lives on, was telling me, which was um, find my passion because I'm at a point where as far as writing, as far as speaking, as far as organizing, I feel like I'm growing. So now I'm on the journey of finding out what that is. It's actually been a personal transformation because in my own life I've actually been feeling um, uh, kind of feelings of helplessness and, and, and wanting just to break free and in, in that freedom also wanting to take a stand for change. This, this experience has <laughs> it's changed me and it's allowed me to grow and I, I can't even I can't even uh, I'm so thankful. I told myself I have traveled a long path of disappointments and lessons learned. But all self-fulfilling journeys lead back to the place of remembering. I am here having a spiritual experience, which connects us to all living things, being, and a journey not traveled alone.